hello guys welcome once again from this video I will be starting a new video series on C sharp in the first video itself I will show you how to connect your C sharp application with uh, my SQL database so in this video I will show you how to create a new project and how to connect it with my SQL database but uh, I want to make sure and I want to tell you that this uh, video series is not just about connecting it with MySQL database or database in the later videos I will also show you how to use the other component uh, like text boxes and um, uh, tables JList uh, sorry list box uh, and other things like sending mails and other inter interesting stuff which are not related to database also but I want to build a application step by step in the first step I want to make a login page uh, for my application and then I want to create uh, more stuff in uh, my application so see the video step by step and you will understand what I'm talking about and gradually you will see a fully functioning app in front of you so first of all if you don't have a visual studio you can download it for free from the Visual Studio website just write Visual Studio download and you will go you will uh, go to the video Visual Studio Express ed edition and you can download the Visual Studio C Sharp Express edition from Visual from Microsoft soft uh, website so if you don't have Visual Studio you can download it for free for trial version from their website okay so I'm not showing how to download it it's simple now in order to connect your Visual C Sharp application with MySQL you need to know something about MySQL so I have also provided tutorials on MySQL which you can find on my channel programming knowledge and just go scroll below and you can see MySQL tutorial for beginners so click on that and just first two or three videos if you see you know what I'm talking about and in the first video when you are downloading the MySQL make sure these all options are checked so the Visual Studio tool for Office and Microsoft.NET Framework basically whatever related to Microsoft must be checked when you are installing your MySQL workbench okay so in this way it will automatically add a resource in your visual studio which you can use later so when you are downloading mysql just make sure this is checked now creating a new app with your c sharp application just open your visual studio and create a new project click visual c++ and we are going to make a windows form application which is a GUI application and I will name it as first c sharp app for example and choose the directory wherever you want to save your application and click OK 
and it will create a project for you so first of all take a button from here and if you have installed your mysql correctly now i will show you how to connect mysql with your c sharp application so when i click this button i want my connection to be established with mysql okay so when you create your project go to your solution for your project and click your project from here in my case first c sharp app and i will right click it and i will sorry i will go to the references here and i will right click this reference and i will click add references okay this will open a reference add reference window in your application go to dot net and scroll below till you find mm, let me search for it yes this one mysql the data plugin this will add a mysql dot data dot dll in your project which will help us to connect with your c sharp application just select it and click okay and it will add a new resource called mysql dot data in your resources in your project now we are ready to write the code so just i will change the text of my button and i will call it connect my sql for example so i created a button and uh, i will just when i click this button my sql database should be connected with my c sharp now just double click this connect button and you will go to the event of this button but before writing the event for this button or the code for the connection with mysql we need to include some resources here so just go at the top where you are using system dot whatever is there and in here you we need to add one more resource which is this one add using mysql dot data dot mysql client okay this is necessary for the connection so go at the top and just add this and once again i will go to the form and i will just double click this so now in this i will write the code for the connection okay so this is the code for the connection with your my sql so in your button event just make a try catch block first so if you, you have some exception it will catch and show you the error and then first thing you need to do is you need to declare a string and name it according to yourself in my case mysql string mysql is equal to you need to define your connections so write data source is equal to local host so whenever you have installed mysql in your system you will see 
just launch your mysql workbench if you followed my video and just click this database and click query database and in here you can see all properties of your connections so your host name is 127.0.0.1 which is a local host so mysql is connected to my local host the port is 3306 for my connection and my username is root and my password is also root in my case so whatever you have defined your username and password just remember that username and password and remember these host name and port name so in your code you will write data source is equal to local host because this is connected to my local host you can write this IP address also which is a local host and if it's your MySQL is connected to some other server just add the IP address of that okay and write it here so data source is equal to local host then write this semicolon port is equal to 3306 which is I have shown in the MySQL and semicolon username is equal to root and password is equal to root so just try to replace this username and password with your username and password now in the second line write MySQL connection give a variable name in my case MySQL is equal to new MySQL connection and pass this connection string variable here okay in the next line write mysql adopter the variable name is mysql adopter is equal to new mysql adopter write this and then just copy this adopter and paste it here dot select command is equal to new mysql command and in the bracket just pass the query for your database so I will pass a simple query with my database so what I have done is I have made a database called database and I have a table in here called eData okay and I have some employee ID, name, surname, age, username, password, some data here. If you followed my MySQL beginners video, I have shown you how to make this. And so my database name is database and my table name is eData. I will go to my code once again and I will select, uh, I will pass a query. Select star from database name dot your table name which I have shown you and then semicolon and in this all in double quotes comma my con which is this variable name I will pass here then I will write my SQL command builder variable name is CB is equal to new my SQL command builder and I will pass this mysql adopter in the brackets here and then write mycon dot open which is this variable dot open bracket and bracket closed and after that you don't need that so i will delete this then write message box dot show and this will show the message if your if you are connected with the database so if you are connected with the database it will show connected message and then you just close your connection so write mycon dot close and in the catch block write 
catch exception ex and in the bracket pass the message if there is some error then we will pass message dot show exception dot message so this is the code for the connection with your database just if you want you can pause the video and copy this code okay just make sure you change this according to your setting and ports and username and password and you will you pass a correct query in the database so just copy this and when we run our code it will present me a form and when I click this connect MySQL it's connected it will show me connected message that means my I am connected to the database if I pass a wrong port number or username and password let's see what happens if I change the port number which is not the actual port number here 3306 if I, I pass a wrong connection what happens then so I just delete zero from here and when I run the program and when I click connection connect MySQL and it will take some time and it will show unable to connect to any of the specified MySQL host so it will throw us the exception to us so that's why I have taken try catch block to catch any error if present so that's the use of the try catch block so just once again change your settings so this is the code for connecting the MySQL with your C sharp application in the coming video I will show you many things about C sharp which are not related to database also in the few videos I will go with the database and then other videos I will show you how to use other tools with your C sharp application so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now